If you want to plot polar curves in GeoGebra, there are a couple of changes you'll need to make. To start with, if you right click, you can change the grid to polar. And you can lose the axes if you like, but that's an option that you might choose to take or not. It can be helpful to get a sense of what size the numbers are still. Now, ordinarily, you might think you can just type in the equation. We can have something like r of theta equals cos of 2 times theta. I'm just using th to represent theta because it's lazier and easier than using the Greek letter that you can find in the menu. But it doesn't actually matter. Problem is, you'll see this graph is just an ordinary y equals cos 2x graph. We don't want to show that one, so I'm going to click this button so it hides. What I want to do is use that function within a parametric curve. The way you make a parametric curve is using the curve function in GeoGebra. But there's another thing I want to bring in as well before that, which will help us to visualize how the polar curve is created as theta increases. So I'm going to make a slider called t. And this slider is going to start from 0 and go as far as 2 pi. But you can change that however is convenient for you. Now, that is going to be the maximum value that I want my parametric curve to go up to. So we type curve. And then the first expression will be the value of x. So I'm going to use r of, we'll call it k for now, r of k multiplied by cos of k. k represents the theta that we're using. And this is r times cos theta, comma, r of k times sine k, that's the r sine theta, that will be the y coordinate, and then another comma, k is the variable that I'm changing here, and I want it to vary between 0 and t, which at the moment means between 0 and 0, so nothing appears. But when I change t, the curve will draw from 0 to whatever that t value is, so I can get 0 to 0 0.8 or 0 to 1.7 and that way we can watch the curve being sketched out for us in real time. We can think of this t as being like time instead of just the value of theta. If you also want to be able to visualize the the ray that's rotating to draw this you could um, draw a line that corresponds to that. You could have um, something like y equals tan t times x. I think, there we go, that should give you the line that is tracing out those values. Another thing you might want to try is just messing around with the original function. We've got cos of 2 theta, which is a bit more interesting than cos of theta. But if you try something like just theta, you get a spiral because as theta increases, r increases. Have a play.